What's up guys and welcome back to my channel In today's video, I'm in Luwansha, the quiet town, the easy town of Luwansha Yes, that's the video for today If you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on the notification, give this video a thumbs up So in this video, let me take you on a tour, just town tour Okay guys, let's go! Zambia State Insurance is how the Luansha town looks like as of November 2022 in the hot season so like my my custom is I'm coming from a small town known as Zimpongwe where I went to see the Lake Kashiva and in my previous episode I was showing you the Ron antelope uh, residential area run and the Mpatamato. I'm sure for those of you who have once lived in this town can attest to that or it brings back a few memories. So this place where I was filming right now is known as the first class. So this place they call it the first class. But uh, my lodge is located at a place known as the second class. So second class happens to be uh, an area where there is like very affordable accommodation. But you just move like a kilometer from here, a kilometer or two. That is where uh, I found an affordable lodge. I know there were people who would like it. Uh, you know, put me under pressure. Why does travelment? Why do you like to go for cheapest, uh, almost affordable lodges? The reason is simple because I mean I need to cover many places and so I make so many savings. So this is the place where I got my ticket. It's a ticket for, um, it's a booth for buying tickets. So just like my winding up. Uh, because my time is almost over in this beautiful little town of Luansha. Now, this Luansha town always reminds me of one politician known as Chishimbaka Mbwiri, although specifically from Oron and Patamato, where he was member of parliament and he minister for so many uh, years so to say but uh, if i critically think about it the oldest musician who ever lived when we were kids i remember in the 80s another musician known as laban kalunga he did music uh the likes of uh, there is a song which i still remember Umana lady lava we she Shua Mayo Umana lady lava we she Shua Mayo in a something like that long long time So this music really really existed and was so powerful in those days when the mining uh, this mining town was thriving the Ron antelope mine the Ron antelope mine used to thrive but now it is still a skeleton of what it used to be it's not as powerful as it was long time ago because the mines were closed down not that the minerals are finished they are far from finishing all they need is a government that can bring them back to life because these mines existed from the 1920s uh, through first president Kaunda they were at peak after independence but now they are not so good although 
a little bit has been done some life has come back a little bit but not what it used to be yes so this is the beautiful wansha town this was my first time to step in Rwansha. I've known a few places uh, like Kitwen, Dola, Chingola, whatever, but I'd never been to Rwansha. So look at this uh, shopping mall, little shopping mall known as Zeron, something like that. So as you know, me and shopping malls in Lusaka, I love. So I. I was so curious that I should enter inside. I'm sure those of you who were here long time ago uh, didn't have this type. You may have heard things like the Moisen stores and so forth. So I was curious that I should enter this uh, shopping mall just to see how it looks like inside. And I remember it was around the... Lunch time, and I felt I should enter inside just out of curiosity, get a drink or grab a snack for my lunch on an afternoon, a hot afternoon for that matter. So that's uh, my entry into this uh, little uh, shopping mall, which is found here. I could see these are some of the items going on for sale and as usual if you go to a place you want to get real value for your money including water ShopRite is always the one and ShopRite is the biggest uh, shop in this place and this is how ShopRite Luansha uh, looks like <laughs> Here there is also a very big church known as the United Church of Zambia. Opposite it is the post office. So the post office area uh, also makes this place to look um, a legendary place. So to say the town center area. This is the place even where I got a lift to go to Mpatamatu and the Ron. Ron constituency. This is the place. So, I want to hear some comments from people who once lived in Rwanda. Uh, is anything clicking to your mind? Do you still remember the fond memories of these red plants? Do you still remember this uh, post office area? This time around, there's ShopRite, there's Chopies, uh, and other shopping malls like you you have seen in some of my pictures otherwise your town is still there and life has still goes uh, has still continued to go on i even went to see the mining houses which are small small houses which were for the miners who were working in those uh, big mines do you still remember this building yes so this is what I I enjoy doing, even in places where I've never been. My mission is to showcase as many places as possible in Zambia. Think of any place in Zambia worth showing. Oh, there's also pick and pay. So here there's pick and pay, there's shop right, there's choppies. These are the big chain supermarkets which are also found in this uh, Luansha town so this place is also there's one other thing which makes this place so uh, popular Luansha is popular with the, the saying that it's a gated community everyone from Luansha they remember old memories uh, they say it's a gated community it doesn't really have a gate but I hear that long time ago it was a serious matter. Although there is what looks like a, a gate when you are entering uh, this uh, this town, but that gate doesn't really really uh, exist. It doesn't mean that all the houses are are surrounded in that gate. Not at all. up 
up my tour of Luansha and preparing to get back to Lusaka. I would like to appreciate you for always coming back to watch my videos and that I would I would not finish my talk uh, without appealing to you that if it is in your power to let me travel other places I'll be more than glad to let you know that uh, I appreciate this kind of uh, gestures which will support me to go to another town or more places I could visit here around Zambia for now. Any contribution, you may contact me by my WhatsApp line. Uh, then I'll be able to manage to go to many other parts of Zambia. Yes, so thank you so much, guys. From here in Rwanda, I appreciate you so much. And in Zambia, from the many tribes in Zambia, so this Rwanda happens to be Lamba land. So from the Lamba land, although here they speak a lot of Bemba, not really Lamba, like it was in Mpongwe, I say we are one Zambia, one nation. I'll see you in my next video. Adios.